Processing Future Due Payments Before processing a future due payment, a contract must be completed by the patient or responsible party for the orthodontic treatment. A few items need to be easily identified in order to set up the future due payment properly. First, in the family file, the coverage table should have $0 coverage and 0% coverage for the orthodontic treatment. Once it's been identified, now we need to identify the total amount for the orthodontic treatment should be separated into two buckets, insurance expected and patient portion after the deposit. Lastly, the number of payments due after the deposit should be easily identified into monthly payments at a minimum of $100 per visit. Now, in the ledger screen, we will have to post some transactions before starting our future due payment. First, we are going to enter the procedure button to post the orthodontic start. Make sure we use our .5 codes to easily identify that the codes are being done for a specialist. Now we need to mod uh, mod modify the fee. This fee will be the total fee. This is going to be the insurance expected plus the patient portion. Now select add, hit OK to post. Now we have to override the insurance expected for the procedure. First, you'll double click on the procedure to modify. Select override insurance estimate, put in the estimated insurance, the full amount. Okay, once you're completed, go ahead and select OK. Now we're going to generate the claim. To generate the claim, we're going to select our procedure and then select insurance for selected procedures. Now, at the bottom, you'll notice that the expected dental insurance amount is 2000 and the patient portion is 2000 Now, we need to post the deposit. So go to Transaction, select Enter Payment, enter in the dollar amount for the deposit. Now, we need to select the type of payment, apply to charges of the patient. Now, we're going to type in the reason for the payment. Okay, make sure it gets applied to the guarantor portion expected and then hit OK to post. Now we have to do an adjustment code to move over the $1,500 to a future due payment. Select transaction at the top of the screen, enter adjustment, choose credit adjustment, type in the amount that we want to move to contract, select our reason, we're going to use ortho transfer to contract agreement, now select apply to charges of the patient. We're going to put the reason that we're moving this over, $1,500 moved over to future to payment for contract agreement. Now select OK to post. You'll see that the $1,500 has been applied to the expected guarantor portion of $1,500. Select OK. Now we need to set up our future due payment. To set up the future due payment, we will select Transaction at the top of the screen, Enter, go ahead and select Process Future Due Payment Plan from the drop down. Now we will select New Plan. First, we're going to type in the total plan amount of $1,500. This is what's due from the patient. We will skip our down pay charge section and go right to our monthly charge information. This is where we will enter our dummy code for contract charge monthly rate. We're going to hit OK. Now we want to have a minimum payment of $100 per month. So what we will do is type in $100 in the charge amount and then it will automatically default to 15 months. Inside the note box, this is where you can write information about the case. 24 months, total fee, 4000 patient portion, 1500 at 15 months at $100 per month. Now, in order to set up the payment arrangement, we're going to go to our print, print options and select print payment book. We're going to let it default to 15 payments at $100 per month. Now, we are for our first payment date, it's going to be due on the first of the month 
on the month following the month where we actually put down our deposit. So we just took our deposit down today and we're going to post the first payment due is going to be on the first of the month starting next month which will be May 1st. Once we're done we're going to hit OK. If you want to print out a payment book for the patient you can either send a batch and then print from your office manager module or select print and it will print it directly to your printer. Once completed your future due payment plan will be listed down on the bottom and you'll notice that the payment, patient has a payment plan due for the first of the month starting on May 1st.